We're pricking out seedlings today on Pots and Trowels and that's brought to you with the support of Cobra Garden and King Seeds. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trials. Well today I'm going to do a quick demo on pricking out seedlings. That's when we transplant them from their seed tray or pot they've been grown in into a larger container to grow on. And the reason I'm going to do that is a week or so ago I put a post on Facebook about the tomatoes that I'd pricked out, just a photograph, and I had lots of people asking how deep did those tomato seedlings go in and how did I do it? So I thought rather than reply to everybody individually, the easiest way would be to do a little video today just to give you a, a quick masterclass in pricking out. It's very simple, but it is important that you do certain things correctly. Um, and I've got some seedlings here to look at. We've got some um, sweet peppers here. As we can see, these are what we call the two leaf stage like this, uh, which is when you would normally prick them out. Um, and these dahlias, these are some we sowed last week. These were from King Seeds. This is a Bishop's uh, Children, a lovely single dahlia with bronze foliage. These were only sown a week ago tomorrow. So six days these have been sown and already you can see they're making nice strong seedlings. These aren't quite ready. These probably won't have a large enough root at this stage. So I'm going to leave them a little bit longer. But generally speaking, we want them when they've just got the two main leaves, seed leaves like these, before they make their true leaves to prick them out. And the plants that caused the questions on the Facebook post are these. These are tomatoes. This is Tigerella, one that we sowed several weeks ago in a pot. In fact, this is the pot here that they were sown in. Half of them have been pricked out and these are my spare seedlings. I find it really difficult to throw seedlings away. I don't want any more tomatoes, but I always keep a few just in case one dies. So I've got my others pricked out individually like this into a nine centimeter pot of compost. But as you can see, this seedling doesn't resemble these seedlings here. And if I just get one of these out, just to loosen the roots, always handle seedlings by their seed leaf, not by their stem, because if you do, you can bruise the stem quite easily. So we'll just take that out. We we'll see it's got a lovely root system down there, but we've got this long stem. And if I hold that against that one in the pot, you can see it's a, a giant compared to it. So what we're going to do is just show you how to prick them out if you've got any that are a little bit leggy. Now, how you prick your seedlings out will vary. I'm going to put these individually, one per nine centimetre, three and a half inch pot. But very often I prick things out into cell trays like these. You know, this is a 12, this is a nine, bigger plants into sixes if I'm doing lots of them. But it doesn't matter what you put them in, as long as they've got a nice container to go in. But we'll use a pot. So I need to fill it with some compost. So I've got some multiple purpose here. This is peat free. I've added a little bit, a bit of wood there, added a little bit of perlite to it. And I find that a lot of the peat free compost, because of the nature of what they're made from, do settle more after you've pricked out or potted. So I'm making sure my pot is full. It will settle. Um, got my dibber here and again using my fingers to hold this by the seed leaf. If I were to just make a hole and put the roots in and put it to the level that the seedling has been growing at, which is just there, then I'm going to finish up with a rather tall leggy seedling. And you can see compared, if I bring this one back in, it's completely different. So we don't want them to be like that. So I'm going to take that out. And this is where people get a little bit worried. Make the hole deeper. So use your dibber, make a nice deep hole. And then we can lower that seedling down into that hole so that these seed leaves are just above the surface of the compost. And then we can fill it in. We don't want any air spaces into the center of the pot. Always try and prick out to the center of the pot. It just looks better. And there you can see the difference. So we've gone literally from, take another one out, that to that. And that's how we've positioned it in the pot. And that will be absolutely fine. And most seedlings, are fine to put in a little bit deeper. And certainly in the case of things like the peppers and the aubergines and the tomatoes, what will happen is from this buried stem, we'll get what we call adventitious roots that will grow and you'll finish up with a, a much stronger root system. So it really, really is quite simple to do. And I do exactly the same with the peppers. I'm, I'm going to take one out just to have a look, just loosen the roots again and just 
carefully take that out and there we can see it's got a nice root system there that's a really good root um, in fact let's do one now while I'm holding it and fill the pot with compost give it a shake level it off so it's nice and level give it another tap and then make the hole and what I'm going to do again with this one is put it down to the seed leaf so the seed leaf is just above the surface of the compost lightly firm it in and tap it and what will happen is the new growth will then come from the center there and between those leaves we'll get the new leaves growing the, the true leaves and you'll get a much stockier plant so once i've pricked them out then these will be given a water with a fine rose just to keep the compost nice and moist and then they need to be stood somewhere in maximum light if they're in poor light they will naturally grow towards the light and get leggy again so we want as much surround light as possible a greenhouse is really good as long as you can keep it warm enough these don't want any cold frosty weather so these need to be kept uh, in a warm environment or a bright window sill and you can always turn them around if they do lean a little bit to the light turn them around but the light will help to keep them nice and stocky and then the aim is just to keep that compost moist not wet and soggy because that won't encourage the roots to search for moisture so we water it don't water it again until it starts to dry out and the best way i think to do that is you can either test the compost with your finger we can't knock this out and check the roots because the compost will fall to bits but get to know the weight of it once you've watered any pot any plant just feel the weight um, and you'll get to you know gauge how heavy it is and if you pick it up and all of a sudden it feels very light and the compost is very dry on the top then that's an indication that it needs just a drop more water so there you go pricking out all you need is some compost pots seedlings and a dibber and you're well away So there we go, that's the peppers and the aubergines pricked out. Don't forget you can watch all the videos that we've done on YouTube over the past few years. And of course our podcast comes out every Sunday morning. So we've got a, a snowdrop collection we're just walking past now. Next week we're gonna be back in the garden planting a peach tree that we're gonna fan train against a sunny wall. So we'll see you then, bye. Mm -hmm.